Hey guys, it's Every Type of Video here, and in today's video, I will be showing you how to upgrade the internal storage of your Chromebook. So let's get started. So when you start your Chromebook up, if you go to the Files Manager, you will see this screen. And if you go to these three dots right here, which say More, if you click on that, you will see your available storage. I currently have 8.6 gigabytes available, and I'm going to change this in this video. So the first thing you want to do is you want to power off your Chromebook. You could do this by heading over here and clicking on the shutdown button. That will power off the Chromebook. So once you have powered off your Chromebook, what you will want to do is you will want to flip it around. Then you will want to get a screwdriver that will fit these screws. And then you want to unscrew them. So once you have unscrewed all these screws, you will be left with uh, two screws. You will be left with one here and one here. There will be a screw underneath the sticker so you want to poke it or remove the sticker. This will void your warranty. So then you want to remove these two screws. So once you have removed these two screws, you want to make sure that you haven't left any screws behind. The next step would be to open up the Chromebook. You, do, you can do this by grabbing onto one of these latches here. And once you have removed it, you can place it to the side. So now that we are inside the Chromebook, you will see all these parts. The one that we are focused on is this one. This is the M.2 SSD. So what comes default with these Chromebooks is a 16 gigabyte M.2 SSD. So what you will want to do is you will want to go ahead and buy this. This is a 128 gigabyte M.2 SSD. And as you can see it's in it. I will leave a description to the place I bought it from. I bought this from pegasusparts.ml. So the next step would be to remove this screw. See there's a screw right here holding in the M.2 SSD. So once you have removed this screw, you want to place it in a different location compared to the other screws. And as you can see, the M.2 SSD would have lifted up. You want to carefully pull this out and place it somewhere. As you can see, this is a Kingston 16GB SSD. So then you want to get your other SSD, and as you can see, this is a 128GB M.2 SSD. Then you want to flip it around, and you want to place it inside of here. And you want to push it until you can't anymore. Then you want to get this screw, and then you want to push this down and screw the screw back in. So once this new SSD is secured, you can then put the cover back on. And you want to go around all the edges, making sure that it makes a cracking noise. After you have pressed down every edge, you can screw the screws back in. So once you have reinstalled all the screws, you can power your Chromebook on. So once you power your Chromebook on, you will see that it says, Chrome OS is missing or damaged. Please insert a recovery USB or SD card. So what you want to do now is you want to power the Chromebook back off. And then you want to head over to your Windows or Mac computer. So once you are over on your Windows or Mac computer, you want to go to Google and type up Chromebook Recovery Utility. I will also leave a link in the description for this so you don't have to type it in yourself. Then you want to click on the one that says Chromebook Recovery Utility Google Chrome. And then you want to click on Add to Chrome and Add App. Once it has been installed, it will take you over to this window where you will see recovery. At this point, you want to plug in the USB, which is 4GB or larger. Once you have done that, you can open up the recovery tool. You want to click on Get Started. And then you want to select a model from the list. Then you want to select your Chromebook. Once you have selected your Chromebook, you want to click on Continue. Then you want to select your USB. And then click on Continue. And then click on Create Now. This will take a few minutes, so please be patient. If you get a window that says you need to run as administrator, click yes. So once you see this message, you want to click on done. And the next thing you need to do is you need to unplug the USB. And then you want to head back to your Chromebook. So once you are back at your Chromebook, you want to start it back up again. Once you see that Chrome OS is missing or damaged, you can take the USB that you installed Chrome OS on and you can plug it in.
Then you will see this. You just want to wait for it to load. Once you see the message, system recovery is complete, you want to unplug the USB. Then your Chromebook will restart. Once it restarts, you want to set up your Chromebook. So once you have set up your Chromebook, you want to go back to the file manager. And then you want to click these three dots again. And as you can see, it says I have 106 gigabytes available. The reason why we don't get the full capacity is because Chrome OS takes up some space as well. So if you see roughly the correct value, you have successfully installed an M.2 SSD for your Chromebook. And if you want to do this yourself, and you don't have an M.2 SSD, please check out pegsysparts.ml or the link in my description, and use my code ETOV, you will get 5% off. I will also be giving away this Chromebook once I have installed Windows on it, so stay tuned for my next video for that. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all later.